My Aero Police tool. When we're moving from blockout stage to the detail stage, we need to replace the items, objects, assets, you name it, from low poly mesh to high poly mesh, or in general, just replace the mesh. So for that reason, we have in build tool in Maya with a corresponding name, a replace object tool, which can be found under modify, replace objects. Great, so how does it work? First of all, we need to understand that the object which we want to replace must be in the world center, a zero zero coordinates or a center of the grid. I don't know how to explain it. It's more, but uh, basically, when you're creating any object, anything, it will be in the world center. You see the translation coordinates is zero. I know that you can freeze transformation, but we're talking about the world center. Okay, so if we want to replace the object, we can select the object, select the object which we want to replace with as the last one, as we can select all of these objects and replace with that one. However, I want to explain what will gonna happen if we will try to replace the object in such manner. Okay, so we have an object, we will go to freeze transformation, or we will freeze transformation on, on all of them, yes, and we can freeze transformation, it's a shortcut for me, freeze, tra uh, freeze transformation, and clear the history for our object, so basically, so basically what we can do now, we just select the object, select the object with which we want to replace, go to modify, I'll open the option box for a replace object option, options, and as you can see, we can replace the copy of the object, instance, or references. At this moment, we can work on now copy as well. If you want, you can work on other. On other instances or references. So, what will gonna happen when I press apply? We will think that when we press apply, it will go to the same location and replace with that object. However, it will be in a bit different location. It should be in here because we have moved by one unit from the world center. As you can see, as well, I can select that one with this one. We will move one forward, as you can see, or we can move to the left. So basically, I think you got the angle. <laughs> what do I mean? Yeah. Okay. So. Just in case, if we want to have the object in corresponding place, what we need to do is select the object. As you can see, right now, if I will press, it will be in the same position because it's a n minus two from origin, minus two units under z axis. As you can see, minus one, zero. Yeah. So. But in case we just deleted a history and uh, freeze transformation, we can go to the big pivot and we will get all data for that object. So if we will select the object, object with which we want to replace, press replace, we've got the Replace data in the same direction. Great. So, is that too useful for you? I don't know, but for example, we want to create a bolt on the axe. And we will think that it will be cool, you know, just uh, select the object, 
select object with which we want to replace and click it and kaboom the problem is we need to re uh, rotate it etc so what we need to do if our objects about a history great we can just rotate it by 90 degrees yeah or how much we need select the last object duplicate it, or apply the replace object tool and as you can see it will replace it properly as you want it in case you want to not have any manual input I mean, as you can see, that disk was covered bit by plate. So you need to align the origins and the pivot for the object, and that's it. So simple as that. You can use the object replace option in Maya. In Maya.